Welcome to Immersive Gaming, guys. My name is Matthias, and yes, uh, about an hour ago, the Dead Sides um, update 0 0.2.0 is went live on the test server. Okay, now I'm not gonna play on the test server. I'm very very busy with Scum at the moment, but I I always keep an eye on all the games that have given me a you know a great experience, and I've had a lot of fun with Dead Side. Um, I've even had fun with Survive the Nights and Night of the Dead. Okay, and all three of those games um, are doing regular updates. Okay, I know Survive the Nights got you know got a terrible launch. Um, Dead Side took quite long with this update. Um, Night of the Dead I finished. That was a really really great experience. Very very great tower defense kind of game. And I'm just waiting for them to finish the first person only view, you know, before I um, go and try that again. But yes, I, th I think it's very important for us to su support the survival, you know, the survival games um, that's out there, especially when the devs do work on updates. Okay, so not going to cover it when it comes out, you know, to the public. Then I'll jump on a server and give you guys a complete overview visually of everything that they've added. But let's just see it. Um, first thing is a map expansion and new locations. So Cherny Log got expanded. Uh, Berego Voy got expanded and then added a few villages. Okay. Added factory in the southwest. Added port in the southwest. Added new military base in the south. Added a sawmill in the northern peninsula. Added a sawmill in the southeast. Graphics and level design. A lot of new objects, houses, factories, um, techniques, more realistic lighting, improving current locations. And that's one thing that I saw. Um, they did improve a lot of the locations and those buildings um, that we could never go into. We'll be able to go into now. I'm quite excited about that. Um, replace the model for loot case, which appears randomly in the world. Four-story houses are open for visitors, like I say. Like I said, expanding nature objects, new trees, bushes, grasses, cliffs. I like that. Added bullet holes on objects. Cool. Sound notification about the lack of ammunition. Sound notification about the inability to reload because there is no ammo. Okay. Game activities convoy. This is something that I'm very excited about. Um, a group of strong bots which can drop a case with valuable items. It can be open only by the trader. Approximate location of a player's carrying a case is visible on the map. Okay, so it's approximate location. That's cool. Um, in my previous Dead Side video, I thought everyone would know exactly where the player is. Okay, hunting him down so that he can't get the, um, you know, the the suitcase or the the case. Okay, um, to the safe zone. Um, and I thought that would, that would cause a lot of cool PvP battles, um, you know, amongst clans or even if a solo player gets it, you know, it could be a major adrenaline rush. So the fact that they're just giving you, um, an approximate location of the player or clan, you know, that's trying to transport it to the safe zone is quite cool. The leader of the convoy is a new AI. I hope, I hope, like the helicopter AI is more difficult, but I wasn't really impressed with this. So there's a leader at the convoy. I really like to see what he looks like with unique equipment, new patrols, encounters, and missions, new patrols, encounters, and missions. That is something that I've been waiting for, guys. Like, you know, when you go into hours, you don't see any AI, and then all of a sudden they rush you. Those kinds of moments really, really made the game fun for me. And... um I didn't really see it later on. You know, when the game first came out, I got a lot of those random encounters. After they added the missions, you know, I didn't get a lot of those encounters. But new patrols are cool. But the encounters, you know, the encounters are really cool for me. I hope they add some those 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 surprise attacks from the AIs. You know, was really cool for me. And then more missions, of course, to the new locations. Maybe still in the old locations on a new. On, in, on the new territories and a couple on the old ones. That's really great. Animation system rework. FPS animations are more smooth now. Fixed weapon tossing when rotating and sprinting. 
Okay. And deployment available only in the safe zone. Redeployment available only in the safe zone. Okay, bases. Players can be registered on the bases. Allows registered players to use the boxes, the respawn marker, and build together. That's one very great thing for the community so that a clan can build their, you know, their base together because um, it is quite a time-consuming thing. I don't mind, but I mean, you know, a lot of players do. Co-op base building, um, which is cool. Base admin panel opens with interacting with the claim. Okay, so you just interact with the claim. Only Oni is allowed now to destroy the base. Registered on a base, players can now prolong the duration of it. This way, owners won't need to enter the server once every seven days. Okay, so your clan members can keep the base alive as well. Base raids. Um, definitely going to raid some bases on servers. Uh, the base owner or registered player has a chance to drop a raid token after death. Activate this raid token to make um, this base vulnerable. During a raid, some base modules, such as walls, decks, etc., except for scaffolds, can be destroyed by explosive charges. So yeah, um, they're just promoting online raiding. So um, when you kill a player with a base, there's a chance that um the token can drop from him and then you pick it up as soon as he respawns um you know he's aware that somebody killed him and they could have a token on them and then you decide when you activate it but it's only got a certain amount of time which you can activate it so if i die and i know i've got a base you know and i know what that timer is then i've got the choice to stay on the server Okay, because I know they can only raid me for the next half an hour or something like that. So it promote, you know, it cancels out offline raiding completely. Um, base respawns, you need a respawn marker base module for that. New items, trip wires, um, that's nice traps. And pliers, used to disarm a trip wire, radio detonator, explosive charge. Can be exploded with the radio detonator with shots or other explosions. New assault rifle, scar and famas, uh, fasam, sorry, ghillie suit, um, new military uniform, new mask, helmets, gloves, etc., muscle brakes, muzzle brakes, silencers for pistols. Bots don't hear silent shots, but still react to bullet hits. Hmm. Interesting. Extended magazines, scopes and sights, 2 times 4.5, 1.5. Gameplay, rework the recoil system. Rags and bandages healing is faster now. Nice. Stem movement is faster. Increased VSD recoil. VG25 stack um, changed back to 1. Can be bought only from wandering traders. Hunger and thirst are now not restored to 100 when respawned okay play the placed explosives can be seen on the map uh, melee attack is now automatic when you hold left mouse button okay um free camera when on stair on when parkouring other players storages can now be opened only when the raid token is active okay so yeah, you, if you're gonna raid, you're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to um, organize your raid and make sure everything happens smoothly, so that you don't forget certain items or whatever you need to raid. Compass added to supporter pack. Okay, I'm sure I've got the supporters pack, so cool. And the inability PVE servers, the inability to loot the corpses of other players on PVE servers, remove the restriction on respawn circle on pv servers so okay so on pv servers you can respawn you know very close to your body instead of the, having that red circle admin menu gameplay activities missions okay so you can just set stuff and then bug with it with the ability to run while using an item etc fixed all known methods of access to the boxes through the walls of bases okay just glitching and stuff many other bugs have been have been fixed okay 
And of course, they are busy with vehicles. So yes, guys, just thought I'd get you guys a bit excited for you guys that, you know, we're waiting for the dead side um, update. They normally don't take very long, which I'm not, I'm not too happy with that. I would like them to take a minimum of two weeks. Um, okay, let's say minimum of a week, but I prefer them to take two weeks, you know, um, to crush all the all the bugs, you know, everything, because the test servers have got very weird clans and players on there, okay? Something doesn't smell funny about those players, or something doesn't smell right about those players, so you're having all those official server players, you know, that's not always um, on the on the low down, okay? But in any case, uh, I'll keep supporting dead side, um, you know, when they bring out anything that I'm excited about, and I'm definitely going to showcase all of these things in a future video. Uh, I will be raiding a base, you know, I'll be showing you guys everything. It will take me quite some time because I'm very focused on scum, but I will definitely make time for that. And again, I'm keeping my eye on Survive the Nights, I'm keeping my eye on um, Night of the Dead as well, okay? So yeah, just just you know, just support the the survival genre overall overall guys and when when you know when devs you know keep working on updates um don't be in a rush you know that's that's the special thing about it i'm never in a rush because i can always support different games and play different games okay so um while scum was busy you know i'm um, getting to 0 0.5 for two years i focused on other things um and I saw, you know, something special happening in Scum. So yeah, don't don't rush devs. Don't be toxic towards them. And um, support different games so that you can always keep yourself busy and you know enjoy yourself and that you can never get too bored. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.